Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and today I'm going to show you how to make the back to front bracelet. This bracelet was originally designed by me, and it is reversible because it has two different sides. To set up your loom for the back to front bracelet, you're going to need three bar pins, a large base, and two small bases. You could use this setup for the triple link chain as well, and it'll make it much easier. So, First thing you want to do is grab your first bar pin and have it facing the opposite direction of the hand you write with. So it's pointing towards the left. And I'm going to place this on the bottom of this large base as close to the center as possible. Push down, secure it. And I'm going to grab my second bar pin, also have it pointing towards the left, and place it on the bottom row as well but as close to the other bar pin as possible so that there's no gaps. Next, we're gonna grab our third bar pin and place it on the center row of this large base, but the center of this bar pin is also gonna be as close to the center, just like that. Then push down to secure it. And now we can secure these two ends right here that connects these two bar pins with the small bases just like this as close to the end and on the other side right here as close to the end flip it over push down and that is the complete setup we're going to be using this straight line of pins right here and this pin right here is not being used at all it's just there to reinforce the whole entire loan all right for this tutorial, we'll be making this bracelet right here, but since we have a white background, I'm going to swap out the white with gray so that you can see it better. And I have my colors laid out right here. This bracelet consists of three layers. The first layer that I'm applying onto the loom is going to be neon green and lime green. And as you can see, it looks like that. The second layer almost has like a stripe, like thin line pattern. And that is going to be teal and mint from the pastel mix. And my third layer is going to be black and gray. And it looks like this on the bracelet. So at this point, I am grabbing my first band, which is going to be neon green. And I'm going to put it on the loom but make sure you start with the loom so that the arrow is facing towards the front. So as you can see over here, the arrow is facing that way. So we're gonna apply the first band, neon green, on peg one and peg two, and alternate with lime green back and forth. One in front of the other, all the way down to the end. Okay, just like a classic single. You can't skip any steps. You have to go one in front of the other. So, I'm just gonna continue. So now, Okay, now once you get to the end, you're just going to take your hook and push down on all of the bands so that you can make space for the second layer. Or you could use your finger, whatever you prefer. All right, so we ended over here, and now we're going to start our second layer on this side. So we're going to turn our loom around. And starting from here, we are going to apply our first band of the second layer, which is teal, then mint, then teal. Alternate back and forth all the way down to the end. Okay, 
And that's the last one for our second layer. Now that we applied all the bands for layer two, we're just gonna push down using our finger. Don't push down all the way, just push down slightly. Okay. And now just like before, we are going to start layer 3 where layer 2 ended. We're going to turn the loom around and again, starting with these two pegs, grab our first color, which is gray, and place it on those first two pegs. I'm just going to alternate gray and black. And on this layer, just try to make it as close to the top of the pegs as possible because that'll make it easier when we're looping. And we're just gonna do this all the way down the line as we did before. Okay, so the last one is gray. So at this point, grab the same exact color as this last band, place it on this peg, but cap it. If you don't know what cap means, let me just zoom in. You want to place it on this peg so that it is double looped. Okay. Just like that. So that's it. We're not applying any more bands. And at this point, we are ready to begin looping. So I'm going to turn my loom around. And starting with this band right here, I'm going to get in front of that cat band that I just placed and grab just the gray like that. Pull it out, get around these corners, and place it on top of that second peg, just like that. And what we're doing is we're looping up this top layer just like a classic single. So again, we're just grabbing the black. We're not touching any of the bluish or greenish colors underneath, just the top layer. So make sure none of them are overlapping. And again, grab that just the gray, bring it up and over just the black, and around those corners, up and over. And just turn it so you get another review. Grab just the gray, and around these corners, bring it up and over just the black, up and over. Just the gray, up and over, just the black, up and over. And you're just going to continue this all the way down the line. Make sure you're only grabbing a gray or black, just one band. And as you can see, this is the end. And we are just looping it up normally. And when you reach the end, now what you want to do is turn your loom around. So now the arrow is facing away from you. And you want to loop this backwards. So it's going to be a little tricky right here. You want to go inside this gray band, inside both ends, and you want to grab this teal just like this. And you're going to pull it out and get around this peg so that you can lift it off. And you want to place it on the second peg over itself. 
Now this part gets really tricky too. You want to hold your hook so the hook's facing backwards and you want to get in front of both of these teals just like that. Then you want to lever your hook out very carefully because if not you'll slip these bands off. Grab that mint, bring it up and get in that corner right there and swing this band around rotating your hook and then bring it over that third peg just like that again we'll do it because this part is really tricky hooks facing backwards get in front of both of those mints as you can see lever your hook grab that teal pull it out use the corner of this peg to get in between those two teals And swing your hook around while rotating and bring it up and over okay again hooks facing backwards get in front of those two teals lever it grab that mint pull it out slightly then use the corner of this peg to get in between those two sides then rotate your hook and swing this band around and bring it up and over. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time in detail and then I'm just gonna work a little faster. Okay, in front of both of those mints, lever your hook, grab that teal, pull it out, use the corner of that peg to get in between these two, swing this band around, and bring it up and over okay so we're just gonna do that all the way down the line I'm gonna do a little bit faster this time use my hand to help Okay, so this is the last looping of layer two. Grabbing that tail, using the corner of that peg to get in between these two layers, and swing it around, bringing it up and over. All right, so again, we are gonna turn our loom around. And starting over here, we're gonna get in front of all of these bands except for that bottom neon green right here and we're just going to grab that get around these corners again it might be a little tight just tug on it a little harder and then put it over this second peg and again get in front of all of these bands right here grab that bottom Bring it up and over. And we're just going to loop that bottom layer like a classic single.
All right. So this is the last one we're looping up. Ta-da! And at this point, you can grab a C clip, and we are going to clip all four ends that are on this last peg right here. Just grab it. Groove is on the bottom. Put it about halfway in and just push down. All right. Once you know you have all four ends, you can pull this off. And this is actually one of those bracelets that doesn't have that much tension. So you can just pull it off. Just like that. All right. So that is the completed bracelet. Over here on this end, you want to clip on the teal and the gray right here. So whatever the first color was that you put on the loom is the band that you're not clipping. So grab the C clip. I'm just going to tug on it so it's evenly tense. And grab that first teal, clip it. Grab the first gray, clip it. Grab the second gray, clip it, and the last teal, clip it. And there you go. You could just tug on it like this just to straighten it out. But that is the completed back to front bracelet. And that's it. This is Rob from Justin's Toys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like this video if you like the tutorial. Also share your photos on my Facebook, Instagram, or Pinterest page under the handle Justin's Toys on everything. Happy looming!